Hello there everyone, it is your Black Knight. And the card behind me, which you can win by, what is it, winning four street races, is... What, what is the, the thing? It's street race series, top, you know, one in four races. You can do them all one day, it's not too bad. What's that, the Cypher. Now, there is, I think, a misconception going around that that's some kind of rare livery. The rare livery is on the Vector over at the... Over at the showroom. Is it over here? Where is this thing? I'm just look there. It is the Ubermach Cipher, 1.1 million. So it's not, it's not hard to get this thing. And that is not a rare livery, but I feel like maybe some people are trying hard to get it because they think it's a rare livery and all that. So why don't, we, why don't we try and do a little bit of street racing, just to make sure someone is street racing. And we'll give them some race. Maybe we'll take some bold choices, you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. So the idea here is maybe offer myself up as some easy meat to run second. By taking some cards that are perhaps not the quickest. I'll see if we can help some people out here. Yeah, I'm not saying that I won't end up taking like a GTT or something that's a little bit quicker just for the fun of it. Or that I won't be emotionally drawn into trying to win. I already have a cipher, so... From back in the days when winning these things was a priority. No one is doing this. And the business end is the one that I like. Number of laps. Can we turn that down? We got two lap race, so it's a little bit interesting, but not too long. Confirm settings. Auto invite. My friends. Friends playing GTA 5. Let's see what happens. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. We, we suddenly have a full boat. It was like, boof. All right, well, let's see. Somebody here is going to get to have their way here. What should I take? Something silly. Now, I'm going to still try to win with whatever silly car. There's the cipher. We could take the cipher. Oh, let's, do, let's, let's do the custom Fujo. I don't know why it's, it's loading that quickly. I wasn't rushing anybody, so did everybody else just ready up with the car they're going to drive? Looks like they're all trying. I'm being silly. With my Tofu Fudo. Can the Tofu Fudo hold its own, even a little bit? We're going to find out. Really drifty. It just, there's nowhere for me to go. Alright, hey, at least it's visually interesting. Let's try and bring this up through the gears, get some speed on it. haven't done these in a while, but I do, the business end was one of the ones where I actually remember the shortcut. This Futo does not, in the tradition of Futos, have a lot of, a lot of handling prowess. It tends to kick the rear end out. It means you can't push it through the turns real hard. It tends to just spin out on its own. It's really slippy slidey. There is something nice about driving a Fujo though, even if it's the upgraded, slightly better Fujo. 
That there's no way that could be my personal best. It's my whoa! I'm way behind here. I'm not competitive in this. Sorry, do we want to do this like we consistently increase our, our chances? By improving our game as things move on, you know? Like, I mean, I don't necessarily need to win the car. I don't necessarily want to win, but last by a long shot. This isn't necessarily, you know, fun nor visually interesting. So we're going to have to... We might have to pick up something. Maybe, it's a, maybe drive the car you can win. Maybe we'll try the side for next. It'll definitely feel better than this. Right now, I'm just trying not to DNF. We're going to be last. But can I finish this race in less than 15 seconds? Just... Okay, we hosted it. Some some people here who maybe want to get that cipher, they have a chance. We're giving back to the community, you know? It's a lovely thing. I wonder how many people here will win the races and not even realize. Yeah, we're, we're a good bit off the Calico GTF. That would be the car to take. Okay, what are we going to do now, gang? High society, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Are we going to race the Cypher? A bold, yet maybe slightly less bold choice than the... I wonder if it even selected it. Yeah, we did. Okay, so we've got a cipher. Now, if this is an absolute disaster, then I might have to just up my way to the vector here. I'm not going to out-drag those Calicos, because they're going to have all the acceleration. But handling? Well, this does handle pretty nice, except for driving into the wall. The business end, I remember. Okay, yeah, that's, that's right. Here's that. This is not good. That was not as clean as I would hope. I could have gotten through there clean, but the guy in front of me screwed me up, and then, and then, excuses, excuses. Wow, it was a huge, huge bounce from the rear end. Forgot how uh, advanced handling these cars were. You're the one flopping around in front of me, slowing me down, dude. Where I now like what? Am I? I'm in fifth. Trying not to be last. Now I'm in the car that everybody's trying to get, so you can see eh, maybe that's not the most competitive car in the world. It's got to be one you just kind of want to want. If you know, maybe you like it because you like that car, you know it's. I think this is a pretty looking car, and it's not bad to drive, it feels good, handles good, but it's, I don't think it's got the oomph, perhaps, need to keep up with the likes of the Calico. Not much does. 
Yeah, I think that was the shortcut right over there, but... As you see, I'm fighting the DNF timer as it is, probably, once this all comes around. Unless I can get some... Uh... No, I know I've turned faster laps on this track. No question about it. Okay, I said I could get through there clean. And apparently I can't. At least not that time. No, that was ugly. Luckily, I think the guy behind me might have gotten caught up in it, too. Wow. He's just... They're like big bounces there in the, the racing line. I gotta get past, aren't I? I'm not really looking at the radar to see how close that is, but I think it's coming. I'm not. I'm not doing the mid uh, the mid break boost there. You know, you'd, I tried. Actually, doesn't even do it. But uh, so when it's bouncing off the limiter like that, I think that's the curb boost function of the advanced handling flags. Someone is finished. They're all running a pretty tight pack up front. And we're going to finish with 10 seconds of spare again. It's not gone well, no. Did he make it? He made it. <laughs> All right. Well, top five is always possible when there's only six cars. Okay. So, Sultan, Calico, Calisco, Jester, Cypher, Calico, GTA. Okay, so... Not not lots of speed here. Let's let's up the ante one more time here. Let's give them a little bit something more to to deal with. It's gonna depend on the track what I pick. Uh, high society. You want to do high society again? We should perhaps show off the car that you can get. By the time you see this, it'll be way too late anyway. But the car that had the rare livery, we'll, we'll put that out there. I do have a video out currently as I'm recording this that talks about it. So it's, I don't feel like I'm holding out on here by putting this into the, the normal the normal ro rotation, as it were. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Daytime, you want day? There you go, noon. The whole point is it's nighttime street racing, but hey, you want daytime? Fine. I'm okay with it. As soon as that joining goes away, joining and joining and joining and joining. Another full boat. There it is. The the custom vector. Just purchased. Just kit, kitted out. And here's the crew we're racing with. Well, you'd think that that'd be something to show up, wouldn't you? The weird, as far as the weird outfits are concerned. 
does show off the uh, this custom paint job here, the, the very rare livery. I've got handling, that's my strong suit. And I got completely run into the wall there. Riveted really torpedo because the other car didn't have as much handling, but it could use me as a, a handling. Oh, here we go. Well, that was just a mess. Okay, that's, I think I might have slightly touched some of that as they were working each other, but... Try to be a little bit careful. And not, not giving a lot of room. I, I was on the brakes on the way up that hill, and it was just like, here we go. I said handling is my strong suit, but what the heck happened there? Come on, Vector. What's your Vector? Victor, I'm in last. Car seems like it's pushing a little bit. So this is the shortcut for some. A nightmare for others. Okay, so if that had been a run to the line, I would have barely. Uh, Escaped with my skin there. I know I just want to pull a, a good lap. I mean, a reasonably good lap. This is probably a mistake because they're gonna. Okay, come on now. Slowly, slow. There we go. Got through. Excellent, excellent. Keep it as much on the road as you get. Still floated it. Prodigious amounts of brakes. Once again, prodigious amounts of brakes. Still almost jumped it into the wall. Prodigiously. We're in the top five, but the top five no man's land, it looks like. Don't think I'm pulling good laps comparatively here. I think he kind of blocked me from the route there. I had to take the, the wide right way around. Let's see, can we beat him through? Yeah, about the same. Can I get around him here? I took that turn pretty well. Not going to have the uh, speed to beat him to the line, though. Another lap. I'd left it at three, maybe. But that went better. I'm pulling top fives. You know, hey. And again, I wasn't in this to try to win the car. I don't want the car. I just want to race a bit. Try out some of this, you know, the irons I don't normally drive. They still use iron cars? I imagine they must. And the coyote's the you know the calico here is the is the meta. The coyote because it's his name. The, the calico's the meta. I 
I wasn't far off the best lap on second. I think that wasn't a bad lap. I just I had that's not the second. It's the third best lap. I'll throw my way behind business end again. I think this time though. Let's do it daytime. I like it daytime. Maybe someone will take the GTT. Not, not that that's the meta, but it's pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Yes! You know what I'm yes, saying? Yes, I, you know I, 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 I told you. You know what I'm saying? Look, you know what I'm I saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I mean, the ass might be a better uh, dominator to take, but... It's the one we can grab quickly here. It's I could have gotten the other one. I don't know why it's launching so quickly. I'm not doing that. This is kind of like my tuner sampler of all the different tuner cars here. Not all, but a lot of. I love this car. I really do love driving it, so. That was cool. It was visually interesting. Hey, thanks for the speed boost. That was like just everybody was going to come and kill each other at once. Don't hit the darn center things. Okay, don't hit the, don't hit the concrete. It won't end well. Ooh, that was ugly. Hey, I didn't hit you. I hit you a little bit. They hit you. I didn't hit you. And one guy parked. That was a, that was a lot more deflection than I intended or expected from that pole. Those Calicos push hard. They really do. So, I mean, he's just not going to be able to take the curves like he thinks he can. Yeah, I use a lot of brakes and a lot of gas driving the Calico. I'm okay with that. I like driving the Calico, but... That's not the only thing I want to do. Man, he's jamming us both up. I like this track. The GTT has got nice handling, got nice handling qualities. It's fun to drive. It doesn't have the top end of some of the other cars, so. Again, it's still a bold choice. But look how, how nice that is to take around that, those bends. A little bit of a drift, but not much. But we're definitely not on pace, you know. That guy was like sitting for the longest time. Like now he's suddenly in the game? That guy have lifted. Is he just towing me?
It does those maneuvers, you know, so cleanly, the GTT. I do love this thing. Like, it ain't gonna win. Ain't gonna be close. But... Like, dude, you're not even gonna be ahead of me. I'm a lap ahead of you and you're wrecking me out. You are gonna DNF. Like, just making sure I DNF as well? Yeah, I'm not going to, I don't think. I enjoy driving that one, I really do. Again, if you're down on like a regular stunt track, yeah, you know, you're you're never gonna hold up to a Buffalo SDX, but there was a brief time there though, it really was number one. You know, especially if you're taking out something around like cluster struck or something like that. I don't know, you think I should stop messing around and just pull out the coyote? Just to see where I'm at. I, mean, I, think, I think this is a pretty competent crew here. Uh, I think I'm probably still not going to be, you know, I'm still in the same position that I was in. And I've given them at least four wins here. So some are in the mix of there. I've given these guys enough wins by... Or at least let them let not been a, a competitive force here. So I mean, you know, which maybe I'm not. <laughs> maybe I'm blaming the cars, you know. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes, I know what you're saying. All right. Whatever. Let's see how this puppy does. Two more wins and then I get 500. I don't think it's going to happen today. But you never know. Honestly, I had a good line going there, but everyone just torpedoed. The good news, though, is that this car recovers extremely well. But the whole field wiped me out at first there. And now you don't have to worry about top end. Now you don't have to worry about acceleration. You have to worry about people wrecking you out, like always, but you know. But now you get a clean cut through there. Now you know, alright, this is going better. Could you not? Like, he's totally getting run out of me on here. This is. Man, that green card is just wrecking. That's definitely faster than I think my other... Well, not definitely. It seems like it's faster than my other laps, despite being completely wiped out in the lead. Hello, tree. Already up in the third here. But here we are, back in fifth, gang. I mean, you know. I'm curious if I could turn a fast enough lap where it's obvious that, you know, it's the contact that's screwing it up. Or me just taking turns too wide. Pushing too hard because I've been wiped out. Yeah, you know. 
Hey, there was a pass made there. That's, I don't know where that guy went or came from. Oh, I, I had to cut to the inside because that guy had... They, they blocked both the darn... Honest to God, I, I, had to, I was going for the, the outside lane, the left lane, and it was completely blocked, so I tried to cut inside, hit the inside corner. Get out of my way. Oh, man. We were on our way to third, and then, like, stupid light pole in the way. Just threw me right into the wall. I, I deserve better than fifth on that, man. I feel like I was doing... I feel like I had pace. But not luck. Okay, I'll go along with whatevs. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. It's GTA though, it's always bumper cars. Looks like the, it's starting to wind down. So it might be like a whole bunch of races of top fives there just. Somebody here, somebody else here is winning this car and I maybe it's because I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want to lose the parking space for just another cipher. Well, I like the paint job on my own cipher that much better, but I do want to be able, I do want to have a feeling that I could be somewhat competitive. Let's see. I think I'm taking the lines right. This is not a good track for me. As I recall, people are revving themselves up. That's not the way they can go fast. Don't know that shortcut. A long cut, or did I take the shortcut and it didn't work out for me? Okay, so that's his shortcut going around that way. I'm taking the main drag. Yeah, okay, I don't know the shortcuts on this one, gang. Which is both the, the positive and the negative about these. Because, you know, it does give you that extra element of something interesting, you know, or if you know the shortcuts. If you know the road, that which is a very you know true street racing thing. But on the other hand, it's also I mean it's not a hundred percent driving skill, you know. Like, this guy just keeps like, flying into me on every track. That might be a stock calico he's running, too. I'm not sure. Oh, 
Okay, see, I don't. Not knowing the shortcuts is hurting me. Of course, he may have wrecked in that shortcut. Come on. Can we pull off a second here? Yes, we can, just barely. <laughs> in an ugly fashion, but we did. Second without shortcuts, so... Alrighty. Second best lap, second place. How many more of these are we gonna do? Probably not too many more. Normally, I feel like I've been racing 10 minutes. Now I feel like this has been a long video already. If that makes sense. Well, we're definitely going to get top five. You ready up. Top money's on the Coyote. Everyone's pretty much running the same cards except for that salt, which is another top car. So we're all going for some kind of meta here. Again, don't know the track. Could you not eat yourself into me for once? I was using a lot of brakes there. Oh, here. So this thing just wants to push. And I don't know the track. <laughs> Alright, well, that's top five is always possible, gang. I think that was a shortcut that killed me. I've missed a short. I've missed a uh, checkpoint, and somehow, with all of this mess of not knowing what the hell way I'm going, I'm still in fourth. Yeah, we're gonna DNF this almost certainly. Oh heavens to Murgatroyd's two missed checkpoints. Oh, I am garbage on this one, guys. Lots of brakes, lots of gas, lots of brakes, lots of gas. No, that wasn't my personal best. Not even on this track. Not even, I know I've done better than this. Back when I used to actually do these on a regular basis. I, I haven't done a street rates in ages. Excuses, excuses, excuses. I suck. Okay. Three of three. Two people have quit. The track is that bad that two people have quit? That 
Now, will the DNF start when second crosses, or will it be a matter of they think will still think there's five cars? I don't know. Now, nah, second cross kill. Can I finish this in 24 seconds? I don't think I can. I'm way further back than third would suggest. But it's right there. Oh, it's right there! Oh, if I hadn't hit the, the thing, I would not have DNF'd. It was right there, but... I think this falls under the heading of GG, guys. Gotta go. I did what I came out to do. I gave people an opportunity to race. People are not quitting out of it. Keller, Duel, Pedro there, whatever the name is, gotta win. <laughs> GG, guys. Gotta go. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is a messy and ugly set of races. And now you know why I don't generally do uh, street races. No. No, it's that's done well, I guess. <laughs> to be fair, I was mostly trying just to be a a, a a field filler so that people could get their races and try to win the car. But then even when I tried to up my game, it didn't. Of course, I got taken out a lot. I don't know. We could, we could do an analysis of whether I'm just not driving well or whether I was unlucky or I just don't know the tracks. But at any rate, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.